Is 24 Sussex Drive worth maintaining? Absolutely. It is our prime minister of our country and he deserves to have the absolute best world-class quarters to live in. It is a shame that we are even thinking about it. Would, would we think, uh, would Americans think if White House needed it? So why is it that we are even thinking about it? It needs to be fixed and it needs to be fixed now and he deserves to be there. Absolutely not. Why live not? like the rest of us. Just because he's a prime minister, does he have to live in a million dollar place? No. <laughs> Sorry, but he doesn't. Give it to the rest that need it here. No. Why not? Uh, yeah, he can run the country from wherever, right? Um, I don't think it has to be a set location or a set home. Um, no, I mean, there's probably cheaper places that he can, that can go and he can afford to live in. And uh, as taxpayers, we can find those cheaper places. So I think it's worth keeping. Of course, things, I mean, your house and my house probably don't, doesn't have asbestos. Yeah. Right, so why shouldn't the press, well, why should the prime minister live in a place with asbestos? Yeah. So it makes sense to renovate. It is going to be costly, but I'm sure we can afford it. It's worth maintaining, but at what cost? Uh, I mean, if we're spending uh, millions on this place, and I would say more than just a few million, uh, the country in, in different, so many different places, especially seniors, I mean, you know, seniors that don't, you know, don't get their teeth done because they can't afford it, uh, can't get their eye vision. Uh, it needs to be refocused. Build them a new place or rent them a condo. I, I think yes. I, I think the, con the country needs to have a showcase when we have all the foreign uh, dignitaries come over. Yeah, I agree. I think it'd be worth putting money into. It's a tradition. It's, yeah, I don't, I, I don't have any issue with that. No, absolutely not. I mean, there's so many other things to prioritize right now, and if that's been on the hold for years at this point, with still no end goal as to when it's going to be finished, why are we not prioritizing other things like, you know, uh, income inequality or uh, access to just more resources for the homeless, you know, just things like that have more of a priority right now than this house that's not being used at all. So I think it's completely absurd that we're even thinking about it still at this point. So, no, it's not necessary. Every place needs to be updated I guess I, I don't know how old the building is but if it's an old building it probably needs the work and you gotta kind of suck it up and get it done right well I think it's worth maintaining it if they live in there uh, it's like a symbol you know where the, the Prime Minister is going to to live so I think it's worth maintaining it but at a reasonable as a reasonable price I would say I was in the construction business for 40 years so Things don't last forever. Every once in a while, you have to renovate. And uh, I know that uh, 24 Sussex Drive is not a new building, so sooner or later, you're gonna have to renovate it. You know, as long as they, they get the bidding process in order where they have a lot of bids, uh, and uh, it, it's a fair bidding process, and the lowest number gets the job, so that's about as good as it's gonna get. No, we can't do that. It has to be on hold. We fix the inflation because it's just a building. People's lives are more important than buildings. It's about time. Yeah, I mean, as far as Sussex goes, it's a pretty it's a pretty unique thing to Canada because, yeah, like the Prime Minister's home is in a state of disrepair. I mean, at this point, just make it a museum. I mean, you know, make it uh, like a thing you could visit, a little cultural hub, a little cultural site, because I don't know if it's, how much tradition is packed in there. I mean, Prime Minister should just operate from a place he's functional uh, and comfortable with, right? Well, I'm an architect, so I guess I do believe in that. And I think, like, as a nation's capital, you do need to spend money into actually maintaining your infrastructure, your buildings, and we do want it to look good on kind of a, a national, or uni not national, but international level, you know, to the world, not have buildings crumbling in, you know, the political structure and stuff. It's worth maintaining for Canada because it's Canada's property. If they can spend all the money that they have to spend to maintain Parliament Hill, which Canada owns, they can certainly do what it takes to maintain the Prime Minister's residence because it's not owned by the Prime Minister, it's used by the Prime Minister, it's owned by Canada. So because, just for historical uh, purposes, it has to be maintained. It's always crazy expensive 
whenever they start these uh, renovations, it explodes for some reason. But I'm not, uh, I'm not against, you know, keeping upkeep of uh, our history and our, you know, our patrimoine and whatnot. So um, I'm not sure if it's unnecessary, but it's expensive for sure. Would it be worth it? I think from a, from a, an international perspective, uh, every uh, head of state, I think, needs to project a little bit of uh, of an image of uh, of as we would say in French, aisance, you know, of of ease, uh, yes. of ease and a tad bit of luxury. I wouldn't like our prime minister be whoever it might be or she might be um, uh, live in a squalid area. But uh, that price tag is just a tad high. Yes. <laughs> so, but I, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't think twice about uh, chipping in uh, one or two extra uh, tax dollars for that. <laughs>